Grinders, Pokemon Nerve back off our fresh 25x win we did last night. Pokestar is two things going on here tonight, guys. I'm only going to play 10 games. I'm tired. I'm probably not even going to talk much. I know some of you guys don't like that, but today they have the Spin and Go Daily Challenge. They just brought, brought back from Pokestars, which obviously we love. Chance to get money here. And they just bought out the million dollars on the 25. It was on the 25 cents last week, and for some reason it's now on the 25s. Whenever this daily challenge comes, it brings bad players. I wasn't really going to play the 25s yet, but our bankroll is obviously higher now. We're over $2,100. Uh, with this daily challenge, I do think there's value here. So I'm just going to play 10 a day, especially if we start off strong and can uh, you know, win money. Uh, then we want to try to make that leaderboard just for some free money here. Um, like I said, I don't plan to talk too much. Just wanted to update you guys. Um, as you can see, I don't have a HUD for the 25s. People keep asking me my stats on them. Um, I don't know how I do, but you can watch and find out how I do. I've told you I'm not going to deposit, so all our money is coming from spins from uh, different different stakes I'm playing. I record some. I record. I don't record all my sessions, so. But I'll show you guys 10 games. I might play two at a time right now. I haven't decided yet. New to the channel, we're going to open up the chests at the end of the month. And I will review my HUD too, the $10 games and under. See, see what we did there. I'm just not talking tonight. I'm, I'm getting up to the gym extremely early these days. Uh, about 4.30 in the morning I get up, and then I go to the gym for a couple hours, and then I go to work. Then I get home, and then sometimes if I can't grind to this late at night, I just don't have too much energy. So instead of just rambling on, I'm just going to kind of grind here, play my quick 10 games, and uh, try to go to bed. These guys are going a little slow, so I'm going to bump up one more game here. If we get any, one, our first couple games here, if you get a couple good spins and you win them, you have a really good chance at leaderboard, but you need at least one 10x game, if not two 10x games. Unless you got a lot of 5x, I guess, but I think to make the leaderboard, uh, like to win it, the top two or three, I think you have to get, uh, I just saw the leader right now is 82 points. And the most points you can get is 20 if you want a 10x. So that guy must have had a lot of good spins to get 82 points. What is this? What are we playing for over here? Oh, sorry, 25. <laughs> a second ago I was playing $5. I thought we just got a 10x. I was so confused. Oh, that was so confusing. This is the problem when you play so many different stakes. I was like, what the hell's going on? I played this guy at the 40s, I think, over here. Yeah. I played this guy a lot. Why isn't my stats working here? Am I... I don't know. There we go. Yeah, guys, I keep getting also comments on how much money I'm going to make by the end of the year. I'm glad everyone's positive and optimistic. But, guys, it's, uh, you know, we're just almost at the end of week two. I'm going to have some losing weeks. Um, some weeks I won't be able to play. Um, it's not going to be a $1,000 a week. Um, you know, it's nice to think that. But uh, I'm in my slow season right now, so I'm able to grind a little more than I usually can. Um, hmm, this guy's been so crazy. Yeah, I'm going to call him based on his history here. Now let's see if we get lucky. We do not. You see him like a fun player there. Ace King, I could have just jammed. We will jam raise Queen. That's a very strange play. 
go three and a half big league blinds and then fold in that spot knowing I was short stack. So the most we can lose right now is 250 bucks if we go 0 for 10. So I'm willing to take that chance and uh, good chance we don't go 0 for 10. And then uh, if you make the leaderboard, it's just free money. Let's say you got super hot. For the 25s, the leaderboard, the first place is $500. So if your first 10, you know, you just had a really good 10, 10 games, you know, to get an extra 500 bucks. And obviously that means you, you must have had a very good 10 games to, to get number one. You're talking of like a thousand dollar profit in one day, which was uh, is pretty savage. Guys, and people keep asking me like nonstop. I don't know if they're just new to the channel. A lot of new people of uh, where where I learn how to play. Most of you guys know now the regulars, but. Um, I just I play poker man the more and more you play the more familiar you get um, A lot of people ask what school I take and I just play poker man Thousands and thousands of games uh, you slowly learn a couple things deal now is uh, 232,000 so right now uh, whenever I pop on the computer I've been playing like two or three hands because I got told if you do that every 12 hours you have to get back a little bit of money if it goes off but I, I don't waste any more than two or three hands and then if it gets to 330,000 then I might play all my points I haven't decided yet All right, we're losing all in for our first one over here, 2x versus uh, looks like a guy that we'd like to stay at the 25s. Pocket eights, we're looking to get a double up in the 3x. All right, two 3x's here. guys in this spot I have 12 big blinds the small blind can't call that wide knowing that the big blinds behind them so he has to have it to call you there and then the big blind also is risking his tournament too so He did not need to bet that on table two there. Looked like a value bet, but very strange for him to bet three on that board. I know he blocks some things there, but uh, I don't like his bet there. I do like this, if that guy gets disconnected. So we have a guy sitting out here. If he goes all in, I might even call. Yeah, I might just push him here. This guy's sitting out. This guy could be getting crazy right now. Oh, he wakes up with a hand and that guy's back. But we could get lucky. We'll take it. I'm running into a lot more players from the channel on the table, so I think that's pretty cool, guys. I don't record all my sessions. A lot of people say hi to YouTube and stuff, but sorry if you don't see yourself. So there's so many draws he could have been raising us off and floating. 
I think I'm gonna play it safe here. He could check call me to seven. Yeah. I maybe could have put pressure on him, but the ten dollars ones I probably would, but twenty-five players are a bit more stubborn when they know scare cards are there. Okay, so last time he bet this low, he was weak, so I'm going to bump him on this one. See, the thing the last hand, he bet flop, and then he slowed down the turn just a little bit to keep me in. Uh, I think here we jam. I got the ace diamond blocker. See if we get a double up in table one here. We need a jack. Oh, we got clubs. Uh. Wow, queens in that spot. It's unfortunate. Six big blinds and gets queens. Okay, we need to hold. All right, well, we're even in chips. It's not the best card, but I'm obviously going to put them all in now. Look at that. He, did you see my overbet bet on the, on the turn and this guy calls that much? This is what you call a real bad player. I bet over pot on that turn. Inside straight, backdoor diamond, but that was a little crazy. So we lose our first three games. That one we shouldn't have lost. So we're not going to be able to make the leaderboard unless we get real crazy here, but I doubt it.
shows you though, even at the, you know, getting to the higher stakes, there's a lot of bad players. All right, guys, we got a 10x. Look at that. Right after yesterday, getting a 25x. The years of grinding. It's nice when they finally come. Uh, I'm going to do a blocker bet here, but that really sucks. That seven. We had two pair queens. Yeah. That sucked. Queen of spades, too. I don't know how easy it was going to fold there if I would have bet real hard. So I don't think there's a point of raising on table one. I don't think he ever folds there. And we're just on our draw. I still think I just check it here. I just don't see him folding. Sorry, once again, I'm trying to look at this 10x here. I'm gonna go for a check raise here. His bet size, ah uh, man, it just sucks that it's gonna slow him down. Hmm, that's a little interesting. Guys, this guy's been so aggressive. I'm gonna try to get him to stab at this here.
I'm gonna float here. Expect them to check back most turns. Hmm. This guy just raises every hand. It's crazy. This guy says Canadians. Hmm, so I'm gonna limp, jam over this. Dead money right here. Oh, that's not good. Oh, we're way ahead. Can we hold? Hold it. Let's go, baby. We win the small one. Now we have the chip lead, guys. Ace two. Wow, I got a call here. Hold it. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Let's go, guys. Booyah! Look at that. Guys, what's the bankroll? We're at 2300 We wanted to win that 10x we were talking about. We Too bad we lost those first three games. Um, we have five games left here. If we get a couple multipliers here, another 5x and a 10x, we can make some damage on that leaderboard. All right, we got a $10 player move up in stakes. That's what these uh, daily challenges do. Alright guys, this is our 6th and 7th game. That 10x obviously covers a big chunk, chunk of our, se our session. I know I could 4 or 5 suited there, but uh, he went 4 big blinds. I wouldn't mind seeing how he uh, plays a little bit here. I've labeled him red, but... That's a pretty big raise preflop. Okay, I'm going to triple barrel on table two. There we go. How about that guy who says Canadians? Fucking right, Canadians. Canadians is dominating here. Chirping the Canadians. Give the Canadians some loves. Smash the Canadians symbol in the comments, guys. That was some bullshit. Uh, this guy seems like he's a really funny, fun player. So let's bet hard here in table one. He's not folding. Uh, and he gets there with the, the jack queen, we chop it. If 
this guy jams on table two, I think I have to fold here. It's just so rare for him to be bluffing there after even his draws got there. And I don't think this donkey's gonna fold any pair, so. Nice. We are on fire, guys. Sorry I don't have too much energy, but. Whew. Uh, we lose that all in. All right, this guy's from a spin and go stable. They teach people how to play spin and goes and they, uh, they stake a money, so he should be a solid player. And I played this guy quite a bit. This red player, man, insane. We lose to that guy, but we're still a chip leader here. I have a video sort on my channel playing two of these guys at the same time and it beat both of them. Like him and uh, someone else from his uh, stable. Try to set a trap on table one. There it goes.
Right, King High table one I have to call here. Nice. King High is pretty powerful there. He sometimes will hit a card there. But the cards that would hit, I don't think he bets a three. Could uh, be value betting a six or eight, but I think are unlikely. I think they just check it. Drop an eight. Drop an eight or a four. Nice. Alrighty. How long is this video? 31 minutes. Um, let's concentrate on this heads up battle. I'm actually just going to jam a little deep stack there, but. Booyah! How about this guy? He calls me with a four. Holy crap. Alright guys, let's win ourselves a 3x. There we go. So bankrolls $2,352 guys. We're just killing it this month. It's too bad our HUD doesn't show it. I was going to buy the other HUD, but um, we have two more games left for our daily. We can see how we're doing on the leaderboard. I don't know if there's always that updated that fast. We've got to be doing decent. After the 10x. Yeah, we're 44th place, 129th, but it's probably like 50 points just to get into the money here. So top 30, top 30 get, here we go. If we get 49 points, we get $25. And we're at 44, we have two games left. So let's get a spin, baby. If we win our next two, we'll be in the money. This is who I beat in 25x last night. And we got another 3x, guys. This is These are getting very important. If we can win a 3x and get another spin here, we're going to end the the video here by doing both these last games uh, just by themselves we're in a pretty good position here just if you get the leaderboard guys it's, it's just free buy-in so might as well take my time My last hand versus him, I had pocket twos, and they held, I got runner, runner, diamonds all in. He was short stack, like eight big blinds, and I shoved him. I remember that hand, a lot of them are blur, but I remember that one. Seems pretty aggressive tonight. All 
All right, guys, I'm playing another table. I just noticed the time. It's getting a little late for my old man self. We got a 2x and a 3x here to close off the night. If we win these, I do think we'll squeeze in the leaderboard because it's also the end of the night. There shouldn't be too many more players. Pocket aces, go all in. Let's dance. I did a three bet in table one here. Look at that guy. So that's when I always tell you about boards and ranges, and I say that board's gonna help his range, not mine. That he bet because that range, that board's gonna be more in his range, being the small blind getting. Oh, sorry, the big blind. Whew, that's why he did that. He's semi-bluffing, so he has fold equity and he has two over cards that he can float with. Usually you want to do it. He had no diamond, though. You'd want to do it with a diamond in your hand. would be more optimal, but... He raises me in table one, I'm going to push them all in. Nice, we double up on table one.
made a note, this guy's been under 10 big blinds for a while, he's not panicking at all, playing very tight. So if I play him again, again and right away we get to 9 big blinds and he goes all in, I don't have to think that he's just um, jamming, he's probably got a good hand. Come on, be aggressive one more hand, buddy. I think we have to call regardless here. Okay, we're ahead. Uh, he rivers us. That's all right. I'm up from the last time I stick it in him. <laughs> all right, guys. We're in our last game here tonight. I don't think we made the leaderboard, but we're definitely up some money. We got Ace King here. There's still a small chance we squeeze in because I think you get four points plus two. Yeah, it'd be very close. And that, sometimes that leaderboard's a game off. They could have been a game off, so. All right, we're not winning this one. Oh, uh, nope. All right, though, the bankroll, guys, we're at 2,300. Another profitable day. And I, I didn't play much at all. I played just the daily games, and then uh, that's that, so. Says we're 129 spot, so according to that, we're not making the money, but there's still this needs to update. We still might get into it. Uh, like always, guys, smash the like button. I'll see you on the next day. Peace out.